Hello, everyone, uh, and welcome to this stream. Uh, it's a little bit early in the morning for uh, for Blitz, in all fairness, but um, what I'm actually um, looking for is um, um, I've just become a Twitch streamer, uh, not a Twitch streamer, a, uh, a live a lead chess streamer. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to see whether I can, uh, whether if I uh, do what I do and I'm supposed to do, yay, then there I am, then I am now um, uh, a streamer live uh, shown on the live chess page. That's great because uh, tomorrow I'm going to be commentating on the fantastic, uh, so, uh, so uh, happy that uh, David is doing this. So David Navarra, fantastically strong uh, Czech uh, super gem uh, against uh, Lila. Uh, playing with night odds, um, and uh, it's all related to this uh, contempt, uh, WDL contempt, crazy Leela stuff that uh, that I've been highlighting a lot. Um, that also enables uh, Leela to play odds chess in uh, in a much better way. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a, an absolutely thrilling match. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, I'm sort of torn really. The uh, the GM side of me says, for heaven's sake, a night rubbish. No computer can cope with that. Um, on the other hand, uh, yeah, I know enough about engines to know how strong they are. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see how that um, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I think uh, fantastic, uh, really fantastic that David wanted to do that. Uh, you know, get a really strong player in there who's uh, yeah, you know, professional and uh, and uh, um, really into playing. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really fantastic to see. But anyway, um, I've started this stream, so I'm just going to do a little bit. And uh, just play a little bit of Blitz, and um, yeah, just see how it uh, how it goes. And thank you very much, Lee Chess, for uh, for uh, accepting my application to become a streamer. Let's have a look. We'll try some uh, three zero. We'll also try some Bullet as well, and um, uh, just see how that goes. Um, yeah, three zeros uh, sometimes a little bit. You have to wait a little bit longer on uh, Lee Chess to uh, to do this. I'm really looking forward to uh, to this match. It's uh, um, yeah. I mean, I just can't really get my head around. You know, what? How is an engine going to be able to uh, to keep uh, playing the game when, um, in principle, I guess you're just trying to exchange off pieces as uh, as the stronger player. All right. So you're going to see that my blitz style. I'm not a super blitz player. I'm kind of my strength, basically, and um, uh, but I'm I'm not particularly motorically gifted, so um, I do tend to lose a lot of games when uh, when time gets short. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's definitely not my um, my superpower. So what am I doing here? Um, <laughs> always a good question to ask. Um, uh, this is um, um, an opening system that I played um, quite a lot when I was um, uh, when I was a, um, a coming back playing chess after a long break, and um, uh, yeah, always enjoy uh, always enjoy playing it. Do you know? I think I'm going to shove in a, a little bishop h6, which is a really bad move. Um, but we'll go h4. Yeah. Um, okay, well, we're going to go knight g3. This is not going according to plan, by the way. This wasn't at all what I was intending, but it doesn't matter. Um, what am I going to do? I, I've got a feeling that I'm going to play nicely with my knights today. So uh, um, there we are. Now, I've got to watch out because knight c7 allows knight a4, um, which would be embarrassing, especially on the stream. So um, let me just play the bishop to e6, first of all. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, ooh, I'm getting this all wrong, just being totally outplayed here. Um, queen d8, there we are, in we go. I mean, he can take the, uh, the knight on a6, there we are, but uh, I'm claiming that uh, uh, there's plenty of other good things in the position for me. Ooh, Matthew, oh dear me, need to warm up. In all fairness, it is a little bit early, isn't it? So um, I'm not worrying about that a6 pawn. Have it. Ooh, h4. Interesting. Um, all right. Well, I wanted to move my bishop anyway. So that's quite nice. Um, do you know? Um, ooh. 
And that can take on f3 and play e6, actually. Rook g3, queen h4. That would be possible. Um, or I could play e6, and then he's going to go knight g5, which could be a little bit irritating. Uh, I could play f6 as well. I prefer f6. The problem with that e6, taking on f3, e6 line, was that um, um, I'm a little bit worried that... Uh, um, if, the, if I get just get the queen's exchange, the, my horrific queen side and this lovely knight on c5 are going to cause problems. So I'm hoping. And what I want to do is to, to follow up with e6 now that he, when he can't play the knight to, uh, uh, to g5, maybe. Oh, he's come back. Um, all right. Um, all right. I think I can do this. Queen c3, wow. All right, we're going to take, we're going to take there. Not claiming this is under control, but I'm hoping to claim that he's just out, as much out of control as I am. Ooh, 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 okay. Um, um, a bishop f4, knight g6, curses, okay. Um, all right, we'll take on f4 then. We'll rook g6, okay. Uh, which one? That one. Ooh, g3. That was quick. Hmm. Take that. Take that. I'm not sure, really. Oh, right. Knight f3. Ooh, rook f3. He's got ooh, uh, he's got quite a bit of stuff. But I'm going to take check. Ha ha. That's what I'm going to do. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he resigned. Oh, that was really sweet. Uh, we've got to rematch him. Uh, thank you very much. That was, but it's completely unnecessary. You may flag me uh, if uh, my opponent's watching. And, uh, you know, I don't mind being flagged at all simply because uh, it's not my. It's not my strength at all, so you know, it's uh, it's fair enough. I do confess I have blocked a few people who who flagged me in in uh, starting off with uh, something like uh, five seconds against my uh, twenty five, and they flagged me in uh, in uh, <laughs> rook and uh, rook and three versus rook and three. I, I, I uh, no, it's perfectly fine. No, it's not, uh, but I just uh, I just felt I needed some sort of some sort of. Uh, some sort of retribution somehow because i was so uh, upset with myself so um so there we are um nine eight seven okay so um a bishop h6 not possible because of queen h4 um um uh, what do i fancy am i going to do the am i going to go for the uh for the lunatic option or am i going to go, go for the sensible option i'm going to go for the sensible option so uh 95 i go b3 um, bishop d7, um, I will shove in a5. Bishop b5 is possible, but I'm just going, going to go castles, that's fine. Okay, so we're in that. It's, um, I mean, this, these are never particularly good positions for white, really. Um, but um, but somehow they're not that easy for black to, um, uh, to deal with. You know, white's very solid, and uh, eventually if things come right, then... Yeah, your position ends up looking quite good for white. Um, but I've often had the feeling that um, you know, out of the opening, I'm just worse, you know, and uh, and uh, uh, and then somehow it always seems to improve. I've got a massive score with this in blitz uh, as well, but also uh, um, also uh, live as well. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm not looking at the uh, at the chat at all. So do let me have a look. Um, oh yeah, testing my settings for um, 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 yeah for uh, uh, for the David Navarra thing, just in case you came late. So uh, yeah, testing it just for tomorrow. And I've got I've got this new uh, Lightchess streamer status, so uh, that's what I'm uh, doing. Um, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of getting flagged rook and rook either. It's, um, I mean, uh, you know, it's fine. It, it's uh, that's you know c can be part of the game, but um, but yeah, then uh, I sort of feel like, oh, really. 
do we have to do that? Uh, yeah, you can you can challenge me, Owen. No worries. No problem at all. I'll I'll play. Uh, I might play a few games with this guy because he was very very sporting. I have to say he didn't uh, he didn't flag me when he could definitely have done that. So um, uh, I'll play as many games as he wants to play. Um, but then um, uh, if uh, yeah if there's uh, space for that, I'm sure there will be. Then uh, we can do that. Um, do I want to go f4 immediately or do I want to play um, g3 and f4? Um, I think I'm just going to do that. It looks quite uh, quite dangerous. Um, yeah, G3 and F4, sort of. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, sometimes I think in Blitz, it's just better to play the uh, the obvious attacking move quickly. So I'm a little bit worried about my E4 pawn. Uh, takes some Bishop H6 is a threat, but um, yeah, I don't know. It sort of repairs his king side a little bit. That's a little bit irritating, of course. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I just I saw this move and I like the look of it. Bishop H5. I, just, I, wanna, I, want, I want his king side to be, ooh, okay. That is a risky one. Ooh, good Lord. Um, well, there we are. Um, you wouldn't have thought that this would be very good. Um, however... Uh, proving it is always uh, a little bit tricky. I'm trying to sacrifice stuff and get to h6, actually, uh, in my mind, but um, I'm not sure. I think what I'm going to do, let's just be simple. We'll go here and here. And I'm just going to grab the h6 pawn. Um, now, what am I going to do? I'm going to maybe play a couple of quick moves, h3, uh, something like that. Or oh, if he goes knight f6, he's threatening knight e4, which would be irritating. So... Maybe I should drop my rook back. Ooh, bishop b5. Interesting. Um, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play the rook to g1. Should have played that quicker. Knight f6. Okay, I'm just gonna play h3. Ooh, I don't care about that, I don't think. Um well, yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming I don't care. I mean I've got queen c3 coming in. Um da, 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 da. Just do that one. I'm not sure about that one. Not sure at all. La, 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 la. As you can see, I'm starting to panic now. <laughs> it's just uh, I didn't used to be like this. In all fairness, it's really it's really strange how um, how it's all um, uh, how it's all happened. But yeah, I, I just uh, ooh, okay. I'll take that one. Uh, don't know that one. Rook f three. Curse you. Oh, all right. I, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, rematch. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happened uh, to me, to be honest. Um, uh, but um, I am just, um, uh, I do tend to to panic quite a bit now when um, when the uh, the time gets short. And I um, often think as well, there's something about, you know, about being a GM somehow. Uh, or, you know, maybe it's just your character or whatever. But you don't feel like you want to just make um, um, bad moves uh you know bad moves or, or anything so does Lila have a chance i don't know i'm not sure about this this uh david navarra match i would have thought not but yeah i mean um i've heard reports of uh people uh playing uh Leela and uh and suffering very badly strong players too um i might give it a go as well uh, sometime myself just uh haven't um I wanted to have a little think about uh, how best to play the odds before trying it but i, I might well have a go on it as well um but yeah, it's as always. It's you know, don't underestimate engines and what they can do. It's um, uh, it is quite amazing. So this uh, A five A four system, it just uh, made just made me laugh basically when I thought about it. So um, the idea is that uh, E four is unprotected, so we just play A five to A four quickly. Um, I don't know whether it's uh, uh, and this uh, Knight C six that was um, uh, the English player um, Fred Yates who uh, who played this in the nineteen twenties. So um, it's uh, just uh, quite a nice little uh, little thing to do. Um, I'm going to play the move e5. I'm not 100% sure whether taking on a4 is possible. I, I think it's just not quite possible. So let's, uh, let's do that. Um, all right. So knight a4. I've still got knight takes c4. 
um, though that might be quite decent for uh, for black, but um, for white. But um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play another plan that I'm always doing nowadays in the King's Indian. Um, C5, fair enough. Um, I'm just going to go uh, Queen E8. That's what I'm doing, just to cover this B5 square. And there's another cunning idea to it as well. Um, I mean, really, what I'm doing, I'm just making a bit of a mess of all this. You know, it's not. This is not a good system. I mean, don't do this at home. But um, but the King's Indian, you've got quite a bit of leeway, really. You know. So uh, what I'm tending to do is to put the pawn on h4 and then uh, and then play f5 afterwards. Um, yeah, I don't know whether it's uh, any good, but um, yeah, a King's Indian is always um, always interesting like that. Does Leela like King's Indian? No engine likes the King's Indian. They all hate it. But um, um, but uh, but yeah, you know, um, they still play it extremely well. You know, that's the uh, that's the thing. All right. Well, let me get my G5, G4 in. Of course, C6 could happen at any moment. But uh, okay, he hasn't done it yet. So let's uh, do that. I could have taken on B3, but I didn't really feel like it. I mean, yeah. This queenside uh, play now looks quite uh, a little bit slow, maybe. Now, if you go c6, I might just take on h3 and go queen g6, actually. Ooh, bishop h4. Interesting. Um, all right. Well, I think I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna line up there, play queen g6. Whoa! I hadn't really expected that. Um, what do I want to do here? Um, I'll go knight g5. OK, he's taking it off. That was possible. Um, I think I'm actually going to take like this, actually. Yeah. Yes, in time. That was the idea. <laughs> um right okay so i've got to be a little bit careful here um uh, okay uh knight b5 um we're going to take on c7 fair enough um i'm not sure i want to play queen e7 though Oh, never mind. I just have to do it. I'm attacking c5. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Uh, interesting. Let me just pin you there. Oh, let me just take that one. Um, he's got knight takes d6. No, no, it doesn't matter. We'll just go here. Oh, queen h3. He's tricky, this guy. I'll give him that. He's tricky. Rook c1. Rook g6. All right. Um, I can tell that panic is going to strike soon. Right. That should we should be setting something up anyway. The question is: Is he going to? Is he going to? Oh, Queen H four. Um, uh, let me just throw in a couple. Ha ha. And then come here, bravely. Mm, I don't know. 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 Maybe. Maybe. Uh, here. Oh, where uh, there? There, maybe. Ah, there we are. He's going to check me to forever, isn't he? Oh, God. Ah, no, don't tell me this. Oh, I've got, have I got him? I've got him. I've got him. I've lost some time. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, nine of three. Ah, that'd ah, be d7. The only move, of course. Da, 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 da. Oh, um, that's very sensible. Um, so we'll just keep on going. C5. Um, I think we're going to take that one. All right, um, bishop d2, g5. 
Your cunning trick. Knight e4. I've got knight takes e4. So knight h5 played. Lovely. Um, uh, what am I going to do? A3. Possible. Um, I could go e3 as well. Um, just keep that knight out. Threaten bishop e2 later. Let's see how that goes. I tend not to do uh, e3 at all in these lines, but uh, all of a sudden. So maybe b6. Maybe I'll, will I take, take and go bishop e2 maybe? Ooh, okay. Ooh, d takes c4. Interesting. Ooh, okay. Um, feels like I should be able to do something here, but um, that's probably more uh, optimism than uh, than reality. Um, I mean, I could just swap around, or I could just... Oh, come on. Um, and now, um, Bishop F3 is going to happen. Um, I can just play Bishop E2 in actual fact. Ooh. I don't think that was a very clever idea. I'm getting distracted by that knight, but um, yeah, I should be rather more, <laughs> more concerned about what's happening with my king. Because yeah, I'm going to get hit with bishop e4 as well. Ah, uh, that's maybe a little bit less clever in actual fact. So I can go knight b5 in this position. And when you take on d2, I will play knight takes d2, and I'm hitting knight on h5. Um, however, this is not completely clear. Um, but if I go bishop h5, takes, takes, you'll take on g5. I go bishop h5. Ah, I should be all right. Oops, sorry. What am I doing? Sorry. Nearly uh, played <laughs> completely not the move I wanted to play. Um, I think I'm fine. Uh, right. Okay. That's good. Um, now, how on earth do we do this? Um, obviously... There are chances that I'm going to get pinned with stuff. So um, let's just see how we go. I mean, I'm actually wondering, yeah, OK. Uh, I was wondering about taking on f7 and going knight d6. That's definitely a possibility, um, even now, in actual fact. Ooh, is that going to work, bishop f7? I'll take with the queen. Um, do I want to go knight d4 here? Ah, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, God, knight e5. Curses. Oh, well, well. We'll try and deal with that. I could go back to e2. I could also take on e5. Oh, knight b2. Um, so king b2, queen b4, is that what he's aiming for? e5, he's just, he's just, he's just completely confusing me, isn't he? That's what he's trying to do. Um, knight f5, here. Um, fair enough. Um, A3, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to make this, am I? Ah, uh, curses. Too slow, Matthew. Too slow. Too slow. Always too slow. Terrible. Need to uh, speed up. I'm, I'm normally just a little bit faster than this, actually. Um... But uh, yeah, maybe it's the early, maybe it's the early morning. I think I'm completely winning here, actually. Never mind. All right. Ah, uh, just a few more, and then afterwards we can do the uh... top-rated light chest. Fantastic, wonderful. I'm not doing a very good job here, but. Uh... Actually, uh, streaming is <laughs> it's a little bit tougher. I'm slow already, and now I'm uh, now I'm uh, streaming. Uh, now I'm uh... oh god, so da. 
Wow. I had another very sweet, um, very sweet uh, player I played against yesterday. I, I, I misclicked B uh, Bishop F6 instead of Knight F6, and uh, he, um, well, he sort of offered the draw straight away, and I said, "Ah, come on, doesn't really matter." Um, but um, he was actually, um, yeah, he, he just, did, just didn't want to, didn't want to play a game uh, with uh, with that sort of advantage, so uh, he agreed to draw. He was high rated than me as well, twenty nine thirty or something. Um, I thought that was very sweet. You do come across nice people on uh, on leeches. Uh, I'm not really paying much attention to what I'm doing. But I think that looks reasonable. Bishop on c6. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm sort of thinking bishop d4. I want to play knight f4 and then uh, come in. Um, oh, I'm going to play queen h4 and... Uh, all right then. Um, am I going to change my mind all of a sudden, or am I just going to just going to come in with knight f4? Ah, we'll do it. Do 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 do. It works well this uh, this streaming. Um, it's it's. I say Lee Chess has got it really nicely sorted out. I mean, you just uh, you fill in a page and everything, and then um, and then afterwards they um, uh, you know they evaluate you, and then all you just put is leechess.org dot in uh, in your stream title, and uh, and you're there. Uh, Ninety four. Sorry, uh, um, uh, I think I just got Bishop D seven here. Looks quite nice. King h2, um, obviously he's going to go knight e2. Ah, let's just play it. If there was justice in the world, really, I would have something clever here. But, um, well, either there is justice and I'm just not not righteous enough to, uh, to have it. Or, uh, okay, but uh, we're just going to go h5 here now. H4. Uh, keeping a little a little initiative there. Um, all right, F5. Queen F4 check would also have been <laughs> probably more sensible. In general, I do prefer the more violent options, really, you know. Yeah, these modern yeah these modern perk move orders are pretty they're pretty cool actually. Uh, I mean, I do like these systems a lot. Um, um, I, I didn't really you know I didn't really play them when I was uh, oh by the way hey Mr. Beats, um, I um, um, I didn't really play them uh, when I was uh, professional, but um, yeah I mean they really are really are very interesting. Knight e three ooh well I'm going to be lining up quite a bit here on time. Um, okay, rook d two. So rook f1, uh, um, check king g1. Um, uh, I've got something brilliant in my head, I have to say. But normally that means that there's a huge flaw in it. Yeah, I'm thinking of flaw now. Um, Bishop d3, rook d1. Ah, bishop f1, rook d2, rook e3, and f e. Ah, curse a loonies. How are we going to do this? Um, oh, maybe, maybe simpler. Doesn't feel like a good move to me, but okay. I had so many brilliant ideas with taking on, ah, oh, taking on e3 and taking on um, and going rook g3. Just had too many nice ideas, but my tactics are a little bit, they're not bad. I'm, I'm not a bad tactician, but I'm, I'm just a little bit, um, a little bit slow nowadays, uh, just for piecing it all together. You know, uh, some of these, uh, some of these elite players are uh, incredible. Oh, isn't that just um, completely winning? Yes. Oh, I've won a game, but you have to, you have to win a game. You see, you have to win a game be <laughs> before the, <laughs> oh dear. Um, all right, I'm going to do something different. Um, ha ha. Doo -doo. So um, great. 
Um, am I going to put the bishop on f4? Yeah, I'm going to do this. So this is all obviously inspired by uh, by Leela. Leela did something like this against uh, Weiss. Played the h3 and g4 in the QGD. And, you know, it's not at all stupid. It's like, you know, so many of these Leela contempt ideas, you just say, well, you know, why not? Um, so I think here. All right. Um, what are we going to do here? I am obviously not too sure. Do you know, I think I'm just going to take on here and put the knight on e5. It's quite not particularly normal, I have to say. Ooh, FG. Uh, possible there. Uh, you're opening up the F file, you're, um, but um, okay. So, and then what I'm thinking is I'm going to now, do I want to allow the knight on to e4 or do I not? I think I, I want to. Ah, I've timed this all wrong, curses. Ah, hmm, interesting. Knight d7. I might be in time. Oh, curses. Oh, I keep on. Ah, I just keep on. Uh, I'm, I'm like a, a move or two, move or two too slow all the time. Uh, just in terms of what I'm thinking. Uh, B4. Um, B4. Right. I think I don't need to blockade. I think I can just uh, come around here. There is a slight worry about the old C file there, but um, uh, I think I should be all right. Bishop b5, you say. So why aren't I just taking like this? Probably find out soon. I'm going e4. I'm not being amazingly ambitious, to be honest, in what I'm doing here. Probably gonna, but um, would I want to? What's the rook ending like? This king's very, very quick. So, okay, queen d3. Not going to do anything. Uh, not trying to do anything fancy here. Just uh, trying to uh, try and survive. Um, he's going to come into g3. Uh, that's the uh, annoying thing. Um, of course, I'm looking for some ridiculous counterattack here. Oh, why not? <laughs> okay. Um, H6. Nice. Okay. Now, this is definitely improved stuff. Queen E5. Uh, Queen C4. What I would really want somehow is to sneak in an A3. That's what I'd really want to happen. had a lot of time um that's a bit premature but but actually it's it's quite yeah i have the feeling i was going to make that one this is but you know moving these these rooks pawns up you know and uh it just means so much it's incredible such a such a powerful uh thing i can't uh yeah you know nowadays i just can't imagine not not doing it simply you know and um <clears throat> But uh, and the number of opening variations where I think, oh, my goodness, if only I'd thought of this before somehow, you know. Terrible, terrible. But OK, you know, sometimes ideas, they, they just need to be shown to you and then you suddenly understand why they're so good. And that's what really happened with, uh, well, with Alpha Zero, with this, um, you know, moving the rooks pawn up the board, long term play compensation. Um, it uh, OK. Now, this reminds me very much of a game I had against Lizzie Petz, German uh, uh, grandmaster, women's grandmaster as well. And uh, yeah, should have been a very brilliant game. Uh, I completely messed it up. She confused me completely and, um, and we ended up drawing. But um, it was actually quite a nice game. Um, but again, I had a knight on h4 like this out of the way. And uh, um okay so knight c5 looking to come into e6 so i think i'm going to end up taking that one but i do reckon now that i'm also going to end up sacrificing um and the question is am i going to do it 
after castles or am i going to do it um before i'm going to do it before i think i'm a little bit worried about the number of pieces that uh the white can take i was you know looking at the king coming to take g3 h4 as you can see i've got quite a good uh aggressive uh, blitz style really i quite like my blitz style um let's have a look knight f3 knight g2 rook f3 is going to come to d4 the only problem is that people have just got so much stronger at blitz i mean uh, it's really uh um, it's absolutely true uh, just a computer revolution all of that before when you were a gm you know you were really um you were you were always better when time got short but now i'm, I'm you know i'm not uh, definitely not it's uh, uh there's uh you know 2100 players and all that uh you know who uh just end up being way better than me when when time gets short like that you know so uh there's nothing nothing to be done about it nothing wrong with it it's just uh, how it is. Oh, uh, he's coming back to, to G1, isn't he? Um, so maybe what I want to do... Rook C3 feels a little bit worrying because then I'm opening up this diagonal. Um, is there a good way to... He's got Rook G1 as well. Okay, I'm gonna. It's a bit of a gamble this one because I haven't calculated it properly. I needed to find something good actually. Um, I'm not sure I've done that. This is quite challenging because if king d3 i'm going e5 that's the key point i think or queen e5 hmm. knight f3 knight f3 maybe knight f3 is what i'm doing ah, the only problem with all these things is am i getting am i getting hit by um an intermezzo that is always the worry it's very hard to calculate to be sure about you just have to sort of go for it really um yeah that's what he's trying to do to me um i'm gonna go to b2 and try and come round to b5 queen f4 i've got rook f8 still <clears throat> rugby one i've got queen a2 i actually think i'm gonna yeah i actually think we're gonna make a draw by repetition here yeah rematch he wants one yeah okay fair enough Sorry about that. Uh, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just nice. Uh, yeah, this guy was being very, has been very, very nice. So we sort of think, uh, well, we'll probably do 10, 10 games. I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. Yeah. I don't play series very often. I mean, um, what tends to happen, I always find that, you know, well, you know, I want to play Blitz for fun. And uh, um, what I find is that, um, uh, yeah, if, if I... Um, if I play long series of games like this, then um, the chances that I get irritated are uh, are higher, and uh, that's just not what I'm looking for from this. I like playing, you know, different people every single game. Yeah, you know, so uh, that's quite nice. Ah, uh, thanks, Peter. Um, but um, yeah, you know, uh, that's just um, that's just how it goes, really. Uh, this is not uh, this is uh, interesting anyway. We'll, we'll try the same plan. I mean, you've got to watch out because there's that you know, there's the whole thing on the um, on the long diagonal there. Um, you know, f having the king on h7 there. So yeah, it's not uh, uh, this bishop's coming round to c2. You know, that's what I mean when I say this system's quite difficult to handle for uh, for both sides. Ooh, knight h5, interesting. I think I'm just going to go bishop c2 here, queen b4. Hmm, I think he's, he's, uh, I mean, h3, I've got to watch out for knight g3s. 
and it's also c4 as well but okay i think uh yeah i don't know this one says c4 is going to be very unclear here i'm not sure i can go f4 fe and f 7s hanging because the king's on h7 again this is all about Ooh, well 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 that's very brave oh oh it's like Ulf always used to say, Ulf Anderson, ooh, there's going to be some hitting. I haven't played this sack many of, very often in uh, in this line. But uh, again, it's it's all to do with the bishop being on c2. But it's it's pretty subtle. Oh, yeah, bishop a6, knight e4. Yeah, it's it's quite... Uh, um, but it, sometimes it works for white. There's, it, I've won quite a few games uh, now just, uh, just with that. Oh, wow. Is he tricking me somehow? Check. No, I think he's just giving up the um, the material. So let's uh, see it. Um, that's quite clever. F4 at G6. But I'm going to go to H4. He can chase me back. I'm going to have F4. Positive I've got F4. <laughs> Queen F2. I mean, he's got various stuff where um, I, I should probably be a little bit nervous about it, but there's just no time to be nervous, really. So, Bishop F6. Wow. Um, we well, wanted to get a Bishop H3, but don't I just have this? That was at least my thought. I'm going to have e5 soon now. If he goes something like knight g4, something... Whoa, 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 what's this? Sorry, I'm going bananas here. I'm just grabbing a piece, aren't I? I'm going rook f3. I'd like to take on h7, really, but... Um... Oh, okay, he's going for the full all-out attack. Um, takes rook g8, and then he's going to have... Uh, bishop d4... Still, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm just, uh, I've got to make some moves, yeah. So, okay, that's fine. I had actually seen that, so no worries. Um, the question is, do I really, did I really have something properly planned against it, or, hmm. That's what we're doing. Ooh, I don't think that was very sensible. Ooh. Ah. There we go. Oh, that was totally ridiculous what I did. Oh, God, I didn't even take the rook. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Nah, never mind. Yeah, well played. Uh, how are we doing? 4-4, four, four. two more games. All right, let's throw in a wild one. I used to play this in bullet all the time. Um, it's quite effective in bullet. Um, but actually, it's funny how um, how theory goes that um, the players sort of, um, players sort of, uh, you know, everyone sort of gets used to it somehow, to, to all these weird openings. And um, they, uh, yeah, they just become a lot less effective. All right. Well, this one has, this one has been fairly effective, really. Um, now am I going to castle queen side or am I going to castle king side? I can't be bothered. By now I'm just uh, in the mood, really. Um, I think I can sack both knights, can't I? Yeah, sure I can. Alrighty. Um, I still think I can sack the knights. Um, 
Um, I still think I can sack the Knights. They're full. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. But okay. Knight F3. Of course, I just want to keep on sacking the knight. And <laughs> you understand that. Um... Can I do it? I don't think so. Let's uh, just uh, regroup a little bit. Um, this way. Yes, he's being uh, steadfast in refusing my knight. Um, probably not a bad idea, to be honest. Now, he's going to grab my H pawn. It's possible. No, he's um, he, <laughs> he's kind of decided that uh, um, that uh, he's not going to do that. Okay, well, let's do this. Oh, okay. Um, no, I'm just going to come here. All right. I mean, I th I'm, I'm going to claim that my that my uh, um, that I'm getting compensation here. Oh, I'm a bit short on time, aren't I? It's my problem. I just keep start talking, and uh, but this is actually very dangerous. Should be. If I can get rook f8 to f1, that would be amazing, but um, rook to g5. Um, wait a minute, let me just grab the b2 pawn to start with. Um, okay, wait a minute, I'm just going to... I'm just going for this. Well... I actually think that I must have an advantage here because his his king's cut off here. I must I must be winning this surely. Whoa! Or am I? Uh... <laughs> Oh no. Um what? Oh god. Ow. Oh, he's, he's agreed to draw. Oh, that's very sweet. It is a draw, I think, but yeah, still. Oh, oh never mind. Okay, let's uh, say this is gonna be the last one. Oh Grunfeld, yay! C6. Uh. Yeah, these H4 systems against the, uh, the King's Indian, they've also become very popular. Uh, what am I doing here? Was it A3 or... I can't remember anymore. I do know some opening theory still, but... Uh, it's all rather <coughs> hazy in my mind. That's the problem of not really, I'm not you know, playing uh, um, uh, chess anymore, really. Um, just analysing a lot. Um, and uh, and then you find that your, um, yeah, all of your stuff becomes just uh, um, a little bit hazy somehow.
whereas when you're playing it, um, yeah, it remains more concrete, really. Um, okay. I don't think that was very convincing, really. I'm actually to, I'm getting a bit tired, I'd say. So I'm to flag a little bit, can feel my energy. But um, but no excuse, four and a half, four and a half. This is kind of the big one, isn't it, really? Um, let's just get out of the way. Oh, is he just going to give me the pawn? Well, fair enough. That's what I'm doing. Um, oh, good Lord, this was serious. Should actually just be giving up my... We'll go knight a3 curses. That's even more cunning. Yeah, no, I've not done this well. Queen a5, knight c1, knight d2. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be trying to sacrifice the exchange at least or something. Queen to d6. He's trying all manner of cunning, really. Um, but I am going to... Knight to b2. Wow. All right. I'm going to... Oh, God. Might be five, queen b4, king b2, check. It's going rook c8 after. Ah, this is going very badly. All right. Um, never mind. Unfortunately. Oh, all right. Queen b3. There we go. Cool. Ah, that's not so bad. Ha! You thought I was going to take on b4, didn't you? But uh, that wasn't the idea. C1. I need to speed up a little bit. Um, oh, okay. Uh, C6 or knight c4. Knight c4 I quite like. Knight e5. Come on now. In the good old days, I'd have been onto this one like a flash. <laughs> Nowadays, uh, it doesn't quite work like that. Knight g8. Um, I'm just getting confused all the time with all the moves that people are playing, to be honest. Oh, knight c5, is that your idea? Um, hmm. Um, now I'm confused. All right, let's just uh, open it up. Up. Oh. Ah, I'm going to lose on time. If he offers me a draw, I won't accept. That would just be too. Uh, that would be going. That would be sweetness beyond the call of duty. He's deserved this one. I think he's been slightly the stronger player all the way through. So five and a half, four and a half is. Quite ah, quite decent. Ah, clammy fingers. All this nervousness. Ah, well done. Thanks. Well played. Ah, um, let's have a look. Did did I have a challenge from someone? Bop, bop into the beat. Okay, let's have a look. 
wonder why, I wonder why you can't uh, bop with two piece into the beat. Okay, let's have a look. Um, challenges. Uh, no, wait a minute. Um, uh, let me have a look. Sorry, I'm not particularly gifted on uh, this. So uh, how do I challenge? How do I challenge? How do I challenge? Your rating is too low. Twenty four. Well, I didn't think I had. Um, I didn't think I had a. Um, uh, let me just have a quick look. Uh, can I? There's something where I can challenge, isn't there? Sorry, I'm uh, not being uh, particularly impressive here. I do uh, understand. Um, how do I challenge? How do I challenge? I never do it. Um, opening, la la. I thought I had a thingy there. In privacy settings, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, create a game. Ah, there we are. No, uh, play with a friend. That must be it. No. <laughs> create a game. How do I challenge? That's what I want to know. Ah, how about, oh, wait a minute. Bop into the beat. Ah, there we are. There we are. Look, there we are, you see. And now I say challenge to a game. Um, okay, standard uh, time control. Real time? Ah, uh, if we say three zero, that's what I'm always doing. Okay, that's good. Um, is that right? Yay! All right, cool. Well, you've had the benefit of seeing my openings bop into the beat, so uh, <laughs> you know the full horror that's awaiting you. And uh, three here. Ah! So this is the Moskalenko stuff. Um, actually, it's um, recommended by, um, uh, by was it Leela? I think it was Leela, Leela Contempt. And um, uh, actually, uh, Moskalenko also recommended it in, in, his, um, in his book. And um, it's actually quite a decent uh, way of playing. A4. So I'm sort of playing around with the most subtle way of, of doing this. So queen c7, I'm trying to stop the bishop from coming to f4. Knight d2, um, all right, I'll just go h5. Always nice to have this one in. Um, it can give you g5 to g4, and it also you know, can, uh, can, stop, uh, um, can stop all sorts of other stuff. All right, knight d5. I quite like these positions with uh, with black. I mean, actually, um, I think even the normal engines didn't think that this was very much for white, which is incredible, really, because um, it's always been thought to be more or less the, um, the refutation, you know, simple, easy way for white to get an advantage against this system. But it doesn't seem like it is. Knight b3 will just stop you from coming into c5. The only thing about these systems is sometimes hard for um, um, sometimes hard for uh, for black to to then make something of it. They're quite sort of static these positions, but um, but yeah, you know, it's. Uh, Do, 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 do. Um, what am I going to do there? Never retreat if you can just sacrifice something. Not sure about this one, but uh, it's not too bad. It's got some ideas. By uh, you know pawns and uh and uh, and everything just to uh uh just to to get the, the two bishops really um 
let's have a look would i want to do something like like that or like yeah i don't know really um i keep on heading for an absolutely massive blunder ah, this, we're just gonna go with that one it's not super it's not bad either just uh come in here Ah, we'll see. Um, ooh, all right. Oh, let's put a little check in there. Um, let's come around. Do do do. Come around here. All right, all right, well, we're going to go for it. That's what we're doing. It's quite dangerous. Um, yeah, let's see, am I going to make it? A lot of hanging stuff. Uh, yeah. Righty. Uh, uh, fine. Ah. Da, 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 da. ah. Ah, that was very close. That was, uh, I think you probably quite a bit better actually with your past deep form, but I'm not, yeah. All right, we'll wheel this one out again. This really is a very good system for white. I think if you can, uh, if you can get into the swing of playing it, then um, Boris Gulko played it a lot as um, as uh, as white in the uh, uh, in the old days, and I I've played it a huge amount. I taught uh, Joël Loutier, the uh, the French elite player, to play it, and he made massive scores. He had some great games against Gary uh, as well. When I was seconding uh, Joël and uh, at uh, elite tournaments, that was really really cool, and uh, always the best uh, the best uh, experiences really. Um, you know, sort of uh, preparing against Gary. Ooh, uh, knight d7. Now I go knight h3. Normally knight d7 is not um, not the best um, uh, because uh, you're allowing this knight to develop to h3. So that's why black's... Uh, it's just a comfortable square on f2 for the knight. Um, so... Uh, can be hard for black to uh, to find some, uh, some counterplay here. Um, I think I'm going to play f4. The other nice thing that I um, that I learned uh, about the system was that um, uh, you've played f3 in the opening, but you can also play f4. I talk about it. Oh, I'm going to plug my book in uh, Study Chess with Matthew Sandler. So uh, quite an old book, actually. I wrote it when I, um, um, I'd, been, I'd come back uh, for a little while uh, playing chess and uh, just felt I'd learned a lot of lessons. So I wanted to uh, to share those. Um, when I'm thinking, I'm maybe overdoing it a little bit here. Oh, wait a minute, I'll, do, I'll go bishop d3. All righty, uh, um, 
I'm going to go rookie one here. Um, so I'm going to do this way. This is quite a common idea for white. You could take on e5 first of all as well, but uh, the idea is I've now got some nice dark squares for my pieces. I think I'll just uh, put you there. Now what I've got to try and do is to um, uh, to uh, sort of consolidate myself around the uh, around the dark squares there. So um, I'm going to play King H1 because I'm feeling like everything's a bit risky. Okie dokie. Um, let me just, uh, I'm very much in the keeping everything under wraps, uh, <laughs> mode, uh, in this, uh, in this line, I'm hoping that's, uh, that's enough. That's what you can actually do quite nicely with this system. If you, uh, if you get it right, it's just, uh, keep everything under wraps and just uh, keep everything under control. Um, I think I'm going to go rook c1. I'm going to go a5. Um, bishop b5. Oh, I should have a good reply to this somehow, but um, I feel like I'm failing. We'll just uh, consolidate ourselves there. Um, I think we'll go a6 now. Right. Uh, come here. Come here. I think I've lost control here somehow, but uh, never mind. Um, oh, good Lord, I'm running short of time. Oh, good Lord. Ah, well done. Can have that one. Well played. Uh, yeah, should we do? Uh, should we do one last one, and then um, I'm going to. Uh, I've tested out my stream, so um, that's that's pretty good. Doc. So this is the elephant gambit, which uh, again I've also played a lot. In bullets, it's very effective in bullet. F four, do 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 do. All right. Oh. The nice thing is I'm sort of hitting the knight on g6 when I uh, take back on the eight. That's quite friendly. Um, 
Let's have a look. Unfortunately, it's probably the case that I don't have. Uh, enormous amounts of order come here, here. I don't want to. Now we'll come here. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've kind of ruined the main point of this opening, which is that uh, it's not very good, but uh, if you play it fast, then it can be confusing. So um, obviously, uh, playing it uh, playing it slowly is not quite the point. Um, queen f4. Okay, it's not too bad. It's a bit like the King's Gambit, really, this opening, that um, if you um, if you manage to escape to uh, to a slightly worse uh, endgame, then you're, uh, you consider yourself uh, to have had a very successful uh, opening. But actually, I'm doing quite well here, I think. Um... Now, should we put a knight t3? I think we shall. We move in. On g2. Going for the pin. As always, it's never going to be as clear as you would want it to be. That's always a weird thing with uh, with engine evaluations that you know, sort of uh, Leela, Komodo, Stockfish. They're all saying, uh, "Yeah, now this is just you know." plus five or something, you know, and you're sort of saying, oh, God, you know, it still looks a little bit unclear to me. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's a decent move. Um, all right. Uh, let me just uh, just uh, get a little bit closer. Was that clever? I'm not sure. Ah, really. no, it's not too bad. Oops, um, here. Oh, good Lord, I'm getting short of time again. Ah, oh, Matthew. Uh, I, can, I know that, uh, that Mr. Bede is going to be making all these comments about, you know, old GM, can't play quickly. Oh, dear me. Uh, oh. oh, well on time. Amazing. Uh, this is winning as well, this week ending, but <laughs> it got so close. Sorry, that's uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be it. Uh, I mean, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm going to sort of uh, end the uh, the stream there. It's uh... but um, well, thanks very much, everyone who uh, who watched. That was really uh, that was really nice. Um, yeah, as I said, the lightchest.org that seems to all get me onto there. So um, yeah, do watch tomorrow. It's from two o'clock English time. That's going to be three o'clock uh, European time. 
Um, da David Navarra against um, uh, the Leela Bot uh, with Night Odds. Thanks, Owen. Um, um, and, um, you know, um, yeah, it's going to be quite amazing. I've no idea really what to expect. Um, I can't really uh, think either way what's going to happen. But, uh, well, those are the best events, aren't they? And, um, uh, yeah, and certainly, uh, um, yeah, seeing how Leela with Contempt played against me and all those uh, videos I made, then um, I think even without a night, uh, Leela will, uh, will be quite tricky. I think, uh, to be honest, I think the main thing is going to be how, um, you know, how David uh, copes with the, uh, with the time pressure. Um, because, you know, converting against engines, even with, you know, massive advantage is always unbelievably difficult. And, uh, yeah, you know, um, I think, uh, five plus three, um, is probably should be fine, you know, especially the increment there once you get short, I think anything less than that might be very, very tough. So yeah, going to be interesting to see, but anyway, thanks very much indeed. Thanks everyone. And, uh, hope to see you tomorrow.